one exists what to do how to understand it doesn't matter what they think of me when I know that my Lord is with me despise me my friend my father I am strong for all I have been through God is present loneliness no longer lives in me I know I am loved I am your child I will be with you until the end I'll be with you until the end. Invisible, forgettable. When someone makes you feel don't exist what to do how to understand it doesn't matter what they think of me when I know that my Lord is with me They can die and despise me, my friend, my father. I am strong for all I have been through. God is present, loneliness no longer lives in me. I know I am loved, I am your child. I'll be with you until the end, my friend, my father, I am strong for all I have been through, God is present, loneliness no longer lives in me, I know I am loved, I am your child, I'll be with you. When someone makes you feel you don't exist What to do, how to understand It doesn't matter what they think of me When I know that my love with me they can die and despise me my friend my father I am strong for all I have been through God is present loneliness I am your child, I'll be with you until the end, my friend, my father, I am strong for all I have been through, God is present, loneliness no longer lives in me, 
know I am love. I am your child. I will be with you until the end. Invisible. When someone makes you feel you don't exist, what to do, how to understand, it doesn't matter what they think of me, when I know that my love They can talk and despise me, my friend, my father. I am strong for all I have been through. God is present, loneliness no longer lives in me. I know I am loved, I am your child. I'll be with you until the end, my friend, my father, I am strong for all I have been through, God is present, loneliness no longer lives in me, I know I am loved, I am your child, I'll be with you. When someone makes you feel you don't exist, what to do, how to understand, it doesn't matter what they think of me, when I know that my love with me they can talk and despise me my friend my father I am strong for all I have been through God is present loneliness no longer lives in I know I am loved, I am your child, I'll be with you until the end, my friend, my father, I am strong for all I have been through, God is present, holiness no longer lives in me, I know I am When someone makes you feel you don't exist, what to do, how to understand, it doesn't matter what they think of me, when I know that my love
friend despise me my friend my father i am strong for all i have been through faced with so many failures and problems that until now have had no solution you think god forgot about me learn how to use your faith and find a solution to your problems find peace find happiness find solutions and now the program problems and solution friday of power and deliverance good morning antigua and barbuda and today is that day the day of power the day of deliverance and if you say pastor i in need of deliverance today you're gonna come to us you're gonna see the power of god inside of your life and today you can also see it right now right now you can see it maybe say today pastor i am suffering i'm going through a lot my name is pastor marlon and i'm gonna be with you in our program today problem and solution all right i'm gonna be with you today and i want to show you the power of god that is going to be working inside of your life today if you say pastor i have sleepless nights i'm gonna help you you say pastor i have spiritual attacks i'm gonna help you you are not able to sleep i'm gonna help you whatever that you say that you need right now i'm gonna help you because i want to show to you today that we have the solution for your problem yes we have it we have the solution for your problem god can help you god can help you through every situation that you are facing all right and you are watching us live there you are watching us live on youtube you are listening to us on our radio program zdk 97.1 listen we are ready and today is the day of power you want to see the power of god inside of your life today is that day you can come and join us anytime throughout the day we have our service 7 30 in the morning that's gonna start in a bit we have also 10 o'clock we have 12 noon and we have also the main service 5 p.m in the afternoon and you see here today is the day of power all right we have our rose as you hear the program just now the promo just now yes we have our rose here you're gonna come to receive your rose as well inside of your house you're gonna place your rose inside your house you're gonna place your rose you say pastor i'm not able to sleep you're gonna place this rose inside of your house and you will be able to sleep well you're gonna place this rose there you say pastor spiritual attacks i have spiritual attacks i sometimes see shadows I sometimes hear someone calling my name. I hear voices. Sometimes, Pastor, I am hearing footsteps on top of my roof and I don't know what is going on. I look outside and you don't see anything. Listen, if you come to receive your rose today, listen, all of that is going to be over for you. You are going to be able to sleep well you're going to be able to have peace inside of your life because the rose is going to have the power of jesus inside of it amen the rose of sharon it represents our lord jesus christ all right and when you place it inside of your house all the negativity all the fights all the misunderstanding the problems that is happening sleepless nights spiritual attack all will disappear and today I'm going to make a powerful prayer for you today. Prepare your glass of water so that at the end of our program, we are going to make our prayer and bless the water. Also, prepare your rose. Those who have your rose, those who have your rose, prepare your rose as well because we are going to bless the rose. Today you're going to come and receive your anointing on the top of your rose. You're going to receive your anointing today. All right? Today you're going to receive your anointing and you're going to take it back to your house. So make sure and don't forget to bring your rose today because the rose, it has this power inside of it. And if you believe in it, you are going to see that your life will change. You are going to see you have peace. You are going to see that you have no more 
sleepless nights. Trust me. Listen, we have the solution for you. And through this rose, you will see the power of God. And today is Friday, the day of power, the day of deliverance. Every Friday, we have deliverance in our church, the Universal Church. We are located on St. Mary's Street. Listen, St. Mary's Street, St. John, we are here, located opposite of the restaurant Roti King. You are going to find us there. Take a look at the image that we have of our new church. We are there in our new church. You are going to see, see us there. Come, you are going to see us there. Listen, prepare yourself. Take a look at our church now. You are going to see where our church is. This is our building. This is the building of our church, our new church. You are going to meet us there. Right opposite Roti King, you are going to see this church. Listen, one of the tallest buildings here in St. John. You see, down in the town, we have this building here. Right there is our building. We are doing a lot of renovations still, but listen, we have service. We have service 7.30. We have service 10 o'clock. We have service 12 noon. We have service at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. That is the main service. Back to me. That is the main service we have 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We look forward to see you. Those who are going to work today, listen. After work, come and join us. Come and join us and receive your rose. I have a few testimonies for us today. You're going to see the testimony of people whose life was transformed. Because in this world, listen, in this world, there are people living in darkness. There are a lot of people living in darkness and you don't even know how to fight against this problem. You don't know how to fight against the situation. You have spiritual attacks. You have suicidal thoughts. You have depression. Listen, you can overcome this problem in your life. We have the solution for you. And today is a day of power. You are going to receive the powerful prayer today so that it can transform your life. Whatever you are going through, listen, God can help you. So you're going to take a look at this testimony that we have prepared for you, our first testimony. And look at the testimony. You are going to see the transformation of this person. Take a look there. My name is Denise. For three years, I was suffering with depression and suicidal thoughts due to the void that was inside me. I was in church, but I used to be this type of person that I used to pretend. I used to like wear a mask, good in front of people, but bad inside. I was hurting deep down inside of me. Due to that, I was, it was like I had a hole inside of me. I was empty inside of me. And when I was empty, the things that I used to do is just cry and just lay on my bed and just feel like, oh, everything is gonna be okay when I know it's not gonna be okay. In home with my family, I used to be this type of person that used to be rebellious. I used to be this angry type of person. If my mom or dad talked to me, I used to slam things in front of their face. I used to, even though, pick up something to just hit my sister. I used to be a bad person at home. My, my examples at home was not good. To fill the void that was inside of me, the loneliness, the sadness, the hurtness, I used to follow bad friends at school. I used to enter in relationship to just find love, to feel that, that emptiness inside of me. And every time I do it, it will last only like for about three or a couple minutes. And then I will go back in the same situation again, over and over. Going to one relation to the next, I, I was this type of person. I am a straightforward person. I don't like things, but they take their eyes and just pass me by cheating, by doing things behind my back. And that um, causes suicidal thought. I almost kill myself because of a uh, relationship. When I was going to depression, my life was miserable. I used to be lonely. Because I was lonely, the causes of that make me not to talk to my parents, not to talk to my family. I be away 
most of the times from school because I don't want to face things in school. Every time I go to school, it's like something, if it's not SBAs at, at school, I feel like everybody hates me. And friends be talking about me and that make me more into depression. I, I just tell myself I'm worthless. I'm useless. I'm no one. I rather kill myself and just do something, then everything will be okay. Every time I sit, things always come, suicidal thoughts come into my mind uh, about killing myself. I take, I attempt to um, take knife, rope, extension card. I take the knife at night and I used to sleep with it in my room. Every single night I had this knife in front of my bed. And I said that one night I would take it and I will stab myself to death. Because that's the only way the pain that I was going through will disappear. That's the only way. And I thought to myself, by killing myself, I will be safe. That God will know that the pain I was going through, He will know. I didn't want to feel the pain. Even though my mom talked to me, I feel like she would, she's mad at me. I will feel like she don't understand my feelings. And I used to do that just to make me feel happy. My mother invited me to church, but I refused to go that day. And uh, due to that, that particular week, I remember that I told my mom that I'm going to kill myself. My mom spoke to the pastor and the pastor called me and said that, oh, he want to speak to me. I went and when, I, when he spoke these words to me, I, it was like God was talking to me when he was talking about souls. From that day on, I started to take things seriously. I started to think that, oh, I have to change my life now. So that's where I spoke to the pastor about baptism. He talked to me about baptism. He said that it's not simple. It's, it's like a sacrifice. I have to give up my wrongdoings to serve God, to do things that is right. So what I did, I got baptized. When I got baptized, I, I did find that the emptiness that I was going through, it was the Holy Spirit. I did need the Holy Spirit that much. So I seek for the Spirit of God. I, I give my best. I started to attend in chain of prayers. Every single day I be in church, evangelize, invite youths. I had people that can talk to me, people that can actually care about me. That's where I found the YPG. The YPG helped me by counseling me, by telling me things that I need to know, that things that I was suffering, everything just came up and that's where I did receive help. I had to sacrifice relationship, I had to sacrifice bad friends, bad company, I had to sacrifice almost every single thing that I was doing. I give up every single thing to serve God on the altar. I needed to receive the Holy Spirit. So uh, one Sunday I was in church in the service and we were seeking for the Holy Spirit. I told God that without Him, I am nothing. Without Him, I can't do things. What is the point of me trying to save souls when my soul is safe? So what I did, I seek for the Spirit of God. I give my best. I give every single thing up. I had to cry. Even though I never cried before seeking the Spirit of God, I did that day. I just give my, my best, my all. I had to humble myself before the altar. When I did that, the assurance inside of me came that I have the Holy Spirit, that I'm safe. And that from that particular day, desires to save souls came more. Desires to serve God came more inside of my life. After having a communion and relationship with the Holy Spirit, today my life is transformed. Today I'm no longer a rebellious child. I'm no longer an angry type of person. I'm no longer suicidal. I'm no longer depressed. Today my life has brought me into a, a new world. Today I live for God now. Today my life has given people more to come to, to serve God. Because usually when I evangelize, I don't just evangelize and tell people about things. I tell them about myself, how I was and who I am now. For the youth that are out there, people that are out there listening to me today, there is always a way out. Because the Holy Spirit is the only way if you are going through things that, if you, if you see that I was going through, things that you know that would that you think people won't help, but there is a way out. God is the way out of every single thing. If you just give your life and give up every single thing, then yes, you will receive something extraordinary.
783-2208. That is our phone number. Give us a call. Send us a text message. Do something. Because listen, if you don't pick yourself up to start a fight, if you don't take yourself up and make this phone call or send a text message or leave your house and come to us, come to the church and fight, listen, you will never overcome your situation. You will never overcome your problem. You have to take an action because listen, I'm going to share a Bible verse with you. I'm going to show to you that it is not a normal fight. It is not something that is normal. The Bible says we wrestle against flesh and blood and we have to fight in a different way. We have to fight in a different way. And that is why you need God inside of your life. You need God to help you to fight this battle that you are fighting, to fight this problem, to fight the sleepless night, to fight the depression, to fight the suicidal thoughts. Listen, I want to share this Bible verse with you here because listen, I want to show you that in the Bible what it says because you going to fight a fight that is not normal. You are going to fight a fight that is not normal. That is why you don't see results as yet. Because you, fight, you try to fight this fight in a different way. You want to fight it physical. You want to fight it with a tablet. You want to fight it with uh, all different type of things you want to try. But you never try the power of God. Look at this Bible verse that I have for you. Share the Bible verse there. Let us see the Bible verse that we have prepared. Because listen, we have to fight. Share the Bible first. Let us see. He says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places listen we fight against principalities we fight against spirits uh, and you need someone that is powerful to fight for you and this is god god is able to fight this battle for you and you haven't tried god as yet you have tried different things, medications, tablets. You have tried uh, physicians. You try all type of things to try to make yourself sleep in the night. And that cannot work. It cannot work because we fight against, we, we fight not against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities. We fight against darkness of this world. And you need God to fight this battle for you. You need God to fight this battle for you. Back to me. Back to me. You need God to fight this battle for you. Amen. Listen. Today, you are going to receive your prayer now. But listen, take an action. Take an action. Pick up yourself. Call us 783 22 Zero 08 send us a text message pastor i am i'm suffering with depression we are going to pray for you pastor i suffer with suicidal thoughts i'm not, i cannot sleep at night just as some of you are texting here right now on the youtube channel yes i see a message i see your message here we are going to pray for you we're going to pray for your family but listen you need someone that is powerful to fight for you. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is going to fight your battle for you. And you have to put him first in order for him to fight this battle for you. Stop trying everything else. Stop trying to fight this uh, as a normal person, a normal thing. Stop trying to fight it normal. Because it's not flesh and blood you fight against. You try to fight against your family member in a physical way. But listen, 
It's the devil that tries to bring this confusion between you and your family member. You have to fight in a spiritual way. And today, you are going to receive the prayer of power. The powerful prayer to transform your life. Today is Friday. Friday of deliverance. You are going to come and meet us. Our church is located St. Mary Street. Opposite Roti King. We are in St. John. Join us today. All right. I have a next testimony prepared for you. And we are going to be back to make our prayer shortly. Prepare your glass of water. And we are going to drink of it. And you are going to receive peace. Inside of you, you are going to receive peace. You will be able to sleep well. All right. Let us take a look at the second testimony that we have here. Show us our testimony. My name is Anais Gomez, I'm 25 years old, and my suffering started when I was a little a child. I grew up in a very um, unhappy home. I was very angry. Uh, I always wanted to kill myself. I always felt unloved, unappreciated, unwanted. Um, I always felt like the outcast in my home. Um, I was always kind of made fun of because I had bipolar disorder. You go up and down. Uh, one minute you're happy, you can be really happy. Um, the next one, you can be really depressed. I was on a lot of meds since I was like maybe five. I, I believe it was five, because I couldn't even last in elementary and kindergarten. They would kick me out of kindergarten and elementary. I used to go kicking and hitting the, the staffs and the, and the students. From there on, I started getting hospitalized. Um, and I think like that even became more of a habit. I'd be bad and they would go hospitalized. And the hospitalized, and the hospitalization is called psych ward. They would put a lot of medication in my system. I would take sleeping medication. I would take I would take antidepressant. I would take mood swings, and then there is some point where I would take a shot as well, because if they were they they were trying to figure out why I was always angry. I had a really bad temper when I was with the father of my child at the place that we were staying. Me and him got into a physical altercation, and it took about seven staff to pin me down, and it took about almost two hours to calm me down. I used to cut myself to release because I used to get so tense and angry. I didn't have a way out, so I would cut. The unintentionally knowing that I was gonna cut it that that deep, I cut it really deep, all of these. Um, and you could see my flesh. I mean, that day, my dad had to hassle me on the floor and kind of tie some socks because it was my there was blood everywhere on the floor on the kitchen floor i was also addicted to having sex with men um and then uh, i was not addicted to having drinking or drugging but i did end up at some point start doing that because i wanted to fit in i wanted to be like everyone because i didn't know why i wasn't accepted or i was outcast i got bullied a lot so um i started drinking and then when i left the father of my child at some point we broke up before I had my son. I used to smoke marijuana to get over him. I stayed in a nursing home. I used to stay at facilities for my mental um, disorder that I had. I wanted to change because I was tired of having the same attitude and having um, violent problems, anger problems, and I just wanted to have a different transformation in my life. Um, and one of the youths that used to work there, um, I went up to him and I said, I don't know, I think he was talking to one of the other girls that stood there, and we ended up going together, actually. And we told him, we want a different lifestyle. Um, and he gave us one of the assistants' number um, that goes to the church that I'm at right now. So she went with um, her and some other girls to tell us about the Universal Church and how God has changed them and helped them. Um, going to God and believing that He can help you because out there, you're gonna try everything to fulfill your void and it's gonna be temporary. If you want a way out, I tell you, go to the Lord. He's the only way. Yes, you see what God can do. So, you got the testimony. You got all that you need. Now prepare your glass of water because we are going to have the moment of prayer soon. And listen, join us today. 
All right, let us go straight to the water promo. Take a look there. A different kind of water with an extraordinary power, unparalleled, capable to bring a change to those who need it urgently. What makes this element different? Able to heal, deliver, restore? Where can one find this water? At the Gathering of Faith and Miracles. Every Sunday, 10 a.m. Now, don't waste time. Your miracle is waiting for you here at the Universal Church. A simple prayer can change even the most complicated situation. Join me now for a simple but powerful prayer. My Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray and I ask, my God, that your power may touch upon the life of this person today. My Lord, here to transform their life. As we make, my Lord, this prayer, my Father, I pray that you may destroy now all the principalities, all the rulers of darkness, my Father, that is working against this life of this person. Because, my Father, this person is not able to sleep in the night. This person has spiritual attacks. They have suicidal thoughts. They sometimes, my God, hear voices. They see shadows. I pray, my Father, that you may destroy all the works of the devil that is working against this person. Because, my God, your word said that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the rulers of darkness in high places. And my Father, only you, my God, can help uh, this person right now. They need your help. I rebuke all the spiritual darkness, this principality, the spiritual attacks. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, my God, that you may bless and consecrate, my God, this water right now. And when this person drink of it, they shall receive peace. They shall receive joy. They shall receive, my Father, your blessing upon their life here today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name. You may drink your glass of water now. Take an action today. Take an action today and come and join us in our church today. Our phone number 783 2208. Our location, listen, St. Mary's Street in St. John, opposite Ruti King. You can come and you can join us there and you are going to find the solution for your problem. Until next time on our program. I'm going to see you. Bye-bye. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me.